What's up guys? It's Jay, more than after kill. And I got a real special gameplay for you because as you watch some of my videos in the past, you will notice that I do play with a guy named Wax Halfwin. Uh he's from the Gotham City Imposter Forums. We didn't know each other, we just randomly ran into each other in a game one time, and we recognized our names for the uh, Gotham City Imposter Forums. It was a psych warfare that we met in and it ended up being like a zero zero stalemate. And he put a uh, I think forty points up, I put like twenty eight points up and we were going against each other. It was a real cool time, and we've been playing together ever since. Now, if you guys play this game or Battlefield or other first-person shooters, you do know that sometimes when you join a session or lobby, that sometimes you get put on the other party before uh, you know you get to play with your friends. And it happens, some people get split up, and the only thing about this is that we were in a party, and we did get split up, and they put us on each other's teams. And it was the first time that we actually had like a really decent uh, 1v1 in a long time. And I say 1v1 because... Because, you know, we played against each other and I played against a lot of people on my friends list when we do get split up. But that's usually when we have like a five-man party and then one person gets put on the other team against another team that's boasting, you know, four really good players. Makes for a real frustrating match. So this was like a real cool match because you, if you're going to watch, you're going to see this uh, this corner right here becomes a big focal point for me and Wax's battle. I think I get him two or three times. I know he gets me at least three times. So we're having a push and push battle for this corner right here and he keeps popping around I'll pop around a few times pop a shot and uh, it was just real funny how that was working out and uh, actually at the end of the game our scores are almost literally identical he had one less kill but one more assist and I had one more kill one less assist so I mean it was really even really balanced and uh, I, I like games like this but I don't want to talk about the gameplay too long. I do want to uh, mention a few things that, uh, you know, really has been going on in the uh, community with YouTube right now and video games in general that are coming up. And that's two really big games that are, uh, you know, being on the horizon right now. And you got a lot of information coming out about. And that's Halo 4 and Black Ops 2. And the funny thing is, is usually like three months ago, if you tried to compare, you know, Halo with uh, Call of Duty, people would have been like, oh, no, you can't because they're too totally different type of games but now you have Halo moving towards the Call of Duty style with uh, you know custom character classes and loadouts and weapons that you can customize and that's a real Call of Duty s thing to see in Halo usually with Halo everybody starts out with like the same weapon and you run around the maps and try to find weapons uh, I know they still are gonna have uh, weapons uh, scattered about where you can pick up opponents weapons or some shit like that but it's a uh, really Call of Duty style that Halo is moving towards and Black Ops is moving towards a uh, Halo style because if you look at uh, the new Call of Duty Black Ops trailer, it is uh, in the future and it does have like a lot of vehicles and stuff that you might want to see like in a movie like Terminator or a game like Halo with the big uh, you know gravity uh, I guess engines cannons that would be on the bottom of those type of. Uh, ships that you saw in that so it's gonna be a real interesting battle in uh october actually november i should say they pushed uh november release for uh halo which was funny because they put it on the same date that uh black ops was supposed to be released and activision actually backed off and made it a week later for black ops 2 so that right there was uh, either a really brilliant move by call of duty or a really, really dumb move. But either way, it was a bold move because, I mean, really, if you want to kill a game, you want to come out on the same day as it if you're that confident. But I think uh, Activision is uh, holding its breath to see how big the Halo community still is and if there really is still a Halo community and will the Halo community actually like this new Halo that's coming out because the new Halo that's coming out is a lot of uh, Call of Duty style shit coming in there so it's gonna be real interesting to see how that plays out uh, because you know these are two you know legendary franchises on Xbox I'm gonna say Xbox because you know Halo doesn't come out on any other uh, system besides Xbox and majority of the you know Xbox community I'm not gonna say it's like you know Xbox only but a majority of the Call of Duty community is console and a lot of the uh, YouTube community is Xbox related for um, you know Call of Duty so I'm just uh, real interested to see which uh, which way the community is gonna swing are they gonna you know embrace more changes in Call of Duty faster than they would 
you know, Halo, because Halo has been stuck in its ways for a really long time, and, you know, Halo Reach kind of deviated from the from the whole uh, mold, and a lot of people didn't really like it. Everybody was like, you know, Halo Reach was the weakest of the bunch, and they was just, uh, you know, I, I don't think the Halo community is, is up for... Uh, change as much as the Call of Duty community is, because everybody in the Call of Duty community complains, you know, that this game is too, uh, it's too, uh, close to all the other games that came out, you know, they call Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2.5 and shit, just because they redo, uh, reuse some of the textures and, uh, some of the buildings and shit like that, it's, uh, and a lot of people in Halo, they complain that the games are too new and they're not as good as the old ones. So it's going to be real interesting to see exactly uh, which way the community swings. If the Halo people are going to embrace the uh, the change or if the Call of Duty people are going to embrace the change. And if the Halo people aren't willing to embrace uh, the change, are they going to go to play Black Ops 2? Because that's a... Uh, that's just something that was real funny. It's just it's just funny that both games are going to meet in the middle now because they were so different before and now they're so similar coming out uh, a week later. So it's going to be real uh, real fun to see exactly how that plans out. Uh, le leave in the comments below if you think you're going to get Halo or if you think you're going to try Black Ops 2 out. My name's Jay, more than after kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys later.